Hello and welcome to this case from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. This case was a nine-year-old male neutered crossbreed with a history of a heart murmur. So here we have our right-sided um, views of the heart. So this is our right parasternal um, long axis four chamber view. So we've got the left ventricle here, the mitral valves here, left atrium here and the right side of the heart up here. And the first thing we notice is that the left atrium is quite large, um, quite a bit larger in width than the left ventricle. Um, and we're just looking for some regurgitation or evidence of that over the mitral valve. Not so easy to see at this angle. So again, we've got our, our right parasternal views, but we're now um, moving the probe to get a, a short axis view. So there's our long axis view, five chamber with the aorta coming in, and then our short axis view with the aorta and the left atrium. So our short axis view at the level of the aorta and the left atrium. So we've got the aorta here, we've got the left atrium here, and then we've got the right side of the heart wrapping round at the top. Um, and we really want to um, assess how many aortas we can fit in the width of the aorta here. So here we can take a measurement, um, seeing how many aortas we can fit across the left atrium and it turns out we can fit nearly three. It should be less than 1.6. So this is clearly an enlarged left atrium. Now we have the, some left sided views of the heart. So we have the left atrium here, the mitral valves opening and closing here and the left ventricle here. Um, and the mitral valves appear a bit um, more prominent than normal. So they're thicker than normal, um, suggesting mitral valve disease is the cause here. And here at this angle, we can clearly see the left atrium is, is very enlarged. Adding a bit of colour flow mapping on, we can see the regurgitation in the left atrium. And assessing the lung fields, there is an occasional bee line, um, but uh, not enough to suggest that the lungs are wet. So in this case, we had a moderate regurgitation of the mitral valve, which was thickened and some cardiac remodeling. The left atrium was enlarged. So this was compatible with degenerative valve disease. We classed this as stage B2.